how are leading organizations able to innovate and to grow amidst this disruption? By continuously surprising customers with new experiences that accelerate growth and that spark continuous innovation. And innovators, they aren't using traditional legacy systems, but they are relying on a single cloud-based platform that unifies data and processes across the ID development, the planning, the manufacturing, and the service. I'm Ronald Van Loon, and I'm the CEO of the Intelligent World. And I'm here today with Jeff Stiles. He's the VP Supply Chain Management Product Marketing at Oracle. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you very much, Ronald. So organizations need a better view of their data, moving away from this siloed approaches and towards this synchronized real-time data accessibility. So Jeff, how can companies who work on one cloud platform unlock more value by, by better aligning all their innovations and the processes and the data and do this from their initial ID up to delivering the service? Well, Ronald, I think you, you started by talking about aligning the data. I think that's the, the, the first key benefit, starting with a single view of the enterprise product record and bill of materials. Having a consistent view of information required for the innovation process all the way through planning, manufacturing, and service delivery is essential. So data is one key element. The other element that I think is really critically important is aligning the entire process and making sure that, that you know, the process doesn't get stopped at a silo. Those traditional systems you mentioned really were optimized for a particular function, development for example, and they really weren't built for people downstream in the process to be able to use that same information and within a unified process for planning, for actually doing the work and for making the decisions within the process itself. So it's really at all three of those levels, Ronald. So if we look to today's marketplace, it is highly competitive and product development must be quick, it must be efficient, it must be more customer centric. And businesses need to improve the agility and the decision making to get this increasingly complex, personalized products out to the market much faster and often with less resources. So. Innovation of this level simply can't be accomplished with a disconnected approach of the supply chain, the manufacturing, and the product lifecycle management. So Jeff, quick and accurate decision-making, it's crucial nowadays. So what is the role of embedded AI and embedded analytics to deliver these real-time insights? Well, first you have to have the foundational data as we've talked about before, and that's not just the transactions within your system. That's all the information that, are, that is coming from your sh machines, from sensory data, and from your customers, the actual voice of the product as well. So once you have that information together, AI and machine learning um, really is able to use that information to help make predictions and to improve the planning process. So those predictions really replace a lot of the manual decision-making effort, the accumulation of data, the assessment of it, of course will never replace human judgment, but they can really accelerate the cycle. And so again, I think the, the role of AI and, and, and machine learning in general in terms of decision-making is all about speed, yes, but also about improving the quality of those decisions at the same time. So AI helps to increase the speed to adapt. And it's important to compete. And I see many organizations, they are facing challenges in staying ahead of the competitors. And they need to drive modernization in order to access the data that's necessary to build the best products, the best services, but also products as a service. And this is data derived from feedback from the customers, uh, feedback from the manufacturing line and from their products. But they are essentially stuck in some kind of innovation gap that eventually results in falling behind of their competitors. So Jeff, for many organizations, this resilience, that's a hot topic at the moment as the market changes at, at the speed of light. So what's the role um, of this single product record for all the different kinds of applications to provide this fast adapting and this resilient business? Well, let's take that in, in two different uh, contexts. First, 
the speed of innovation. Now, it used to be that the manufacturers were only producing products, and um, now it's increasingly product and service, or you know, products as a service. So, you know, being able to very quickly deliver innovations in software in service is is absolutely essential. And on the resiliency side, I think it's really important to call out the need to be able to adapt. I mean, the pandemic has taught us much about the importance of of being able to make quick pivots to ad adapt to changing market conditions, to adapt to changing, you know, situations globally. For example, being able to, you know, shift your sourcing flexibly to another trusted source of supply if you don't have access to that source of supply. So it's really magnified the importance of planning and especially sensing demand, but also being able to quickly adapt to those changes across all aspects of manufacturing and service delivery. And the most important question, Jeff, what's in it for the customer? How can he benefit? Well, the customer is the real winner in all of this. Again, being able to, to mass personalize the, the, the production and delivery of these products and services tailored specifically to the customer's needs and, and doing that in a way that's both very timely, meeting their expectations, and that, that delivers those innovations with quality. That's the end result. And the customer is absolutely the benefactor and the real winner in all of this. So creating exceptional products and services, and especially products as a service, as you mentioned, this is derived from a business model that's centered around the customer. So a single digital platform in combination with the cloud that helps to combine data and business-wide collaboration so that businesses can continue to grow, continue to innovate and deliver these continuous um, quality solutions that delight the customer. Jeff, Thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your stories. And for the audience, thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you, Ron.